Hello everyone. My name is Rohan and today I'm going to walk you through on how we could make online learning engaging with the use of Raptivity. Considering the current pandemic situation, there has been a strong push towards various online learning initiatives for remote collaboration. Various organizations and educational institutions around the globe are in different phasing, phases of moving online. At what level of preparedness they were when they started is a different story altogether. But after the initial hustle, most of the L&D teams and educators have succumbed to the fact that this is now going to be the new normal for quite some time and are now actively working on making their remote learning better. Having said that, online learning comes with its share of challenges as well. The new generation of learners is hard to please and hard to engage. You put in all efforts to make your online classes and e-learning courses amazing and learners are still not impressed. So how do we engage your learners is the key question and the answer to that is using interactivity. So interactivity and engagement go hand in hand. Since the classroom is online and you cannot observe your learners face to face, you need a mechanism to ensure that they interact with content and are not distracted. This is where a product like Raptivity plays a very crucial role. Let me take this opportunity to introduce you to Raptivity. So Raptivity is a ready to use cloud based template library consisting of highly engaging and interactive templates, which will help your remote learners get hooked on to your online content. These templates will help you make your online classes stand out with a mix of fun games, quick quizzes, and cool displays. So what are the key features of Raptivity, you may ask? Raptivity is a growing library of visually stunning interactive templates, which you can rapidly customize within no time. You just have to feed in content and you're good to go. These interactions are completely responsive in nature and will suit any device which your remote learners are using. With attention spans of the learners decreasing, Raptivity helps in creating highly engaging micro learning experiences. It also caters to various advanced tracking and compliance standards like SCOM and XAPI. You can easily publish, share, or even embed these templates within your existing content. So there are two versions of Raptivity available depending on your current profile. So if you're an instructor or an educator, you can go in for Raptivity Virtual Classroom. And if you're an e-learning producer, you can opt for Raptivity 2020. And let's see what are the differences between both of them. So for Raptivity Virtual Classroom, basically these are templates designed for teachers, professors, and trainers who are using online video platforms to deliver virtual classes. And also for people who are using online learning activities to improve engagement. So you can use Raptivity to, to have good interactions with your remote learners. It consists of a mix of fun games, quick quizzes, and cool displays that you can use for your homework activities as well. So that's where Rap Raptivity Virtual Classroom plays a very important role. And talking about Raptivity 2020, basically these are made for instructional designers, authors, subject matter experts, and teachers who produce e-learning content. And this this helps in building engaging micro learning experiences as we spoke earlier with truly responsive interactions. And it completely supports SCOM and X API tracking. And uh, you can use this um, as you like. So you can use these templates independently with your favorite authoring tools or LMS that you're currently leveraging in your current organizations. So the, this is where Raptivity 2020 comes into play. With that, why don't I take some time out to show you what exactly Raptivity templates look like. So I'll be happy to walk you through a few Raptivity templates. So we've, uh, we've got uh, a few templates, like these are a few cool displays that we have, and I'll be happy to take them through as well. So let me quickly switch my screens here and take you 
to the Raptivity templates. So let us start with the first one. So these are, these are known as panning slides. These are highly visual interactions uh, and activities. So uh, interactions and uh, inter acti activities are kind of interchangeable when it comes to the education and the, uh, the actual e-learning part of uh, the industry. So these are very highly interactive and engaging uh, templates suited to depict a sequential event, process, or a particular timeline. So if you can see, th these are far way better than producing a normal page turner type of PDF. You can have clickable options, which could have sequential activities. And your learners will kind of get hooked on to this type of content rather than a normal word or any other static kind of slides. So that's, that's a small example of panning slides. Moving on to our next template. So this is known as the layered display. So you have various short pieces of information given on the first slide itself. And as soon as you click on any one of them, it will give you information about that particular topic. So simple free navigation across multiple layers best suited to display categorized information. And that's where the layered display comes into play. And you can completely customize uh, the images, the, uh, the content. And the best part is all of these templates are completely responsive. You can have them rendered as per a particular device. So this is how it will look on a mobile screen. So I'll just switch back to our normal mode. So that's the layered display for you. Coming to our next template. So this is a horizontal parallax. So interaction with the horizontal scrolling effect best used to depict information with a metamorphic background image. So this is highly engaging and it is completely uh, used on a great scale uh, during these times, especially to uh, portray a particular type of information or maybe uh, pieces of short micro informations within a particular module. So that's the horizontal parallax. Coming to our next template, which is 360 image. So this is a very interesting way in which you can present content to your online learners or your remote learners by giving them an immersive experience of 360 view. So for example, this is an example where this is uh, a forest wherein you know, there are various species of animals available in this forest and what type of animals are there. So these are hotspots where you can click and you'll get more information about that particular animal. So, I'm sure you can try and uh, imagine uh, wherein, uh, you know, what type of content can be uh, fit in best uh, according to your current needs. But these are ready to use um, quickly. You can get these templates up and running for your remote learners. Again, this is just another hotspot that I clicked upon. So that's, that's what is with the 360 image template. Moving on to the next one, this is called as the vertical parallax. So vertical scroll interaction that works best to depict segmented information that is revealed with each click. So you have a person walking through an aisle and you have hotspots here wherein you can click on the hotspots and portray more information. This could also be a good idea if you have any onboarding uh, trainings that you want to train your new hires on, you can try and present your information in this particular format or maybe information regarding um, particular departments in your organization could be a good use case we could look at. Moving on to our next template, which is 
the happy meter. So I can quickly, yes. So a quiz, uh, where there's no right or wrong and everything is measured as a perspective. So encourage your learners to participate because nobody is judging here. So you, you, there's no right when you have, you know, open-ended questions where there is no right or wrong, but you still want to give the learners a feedback. This is an example of a happy meter template that you can use. So with that, I get a good score. Again, so it, it keeps on kind of telling me the happy meter, whether I am going in the right direction. And I'll be walking you through a few templates on how we could actually create these templates. And this is within no time, you could do that. Similarly, we have the next one, which is uh, similar. This is a vertical parallax again, but this one is a template which also has assessment. So you can directly have your content presented in this vertical parallax format and then followed by quick assessment for your learners. You can see uh, this is a timed assessment. So your timer starts clicking here. So yeah, multiple choice. And what's the last one? And there you go, you get a dashboard um, at the end saying how much time you took to complete this. What's your score like, percentage like, and you can restart the assessment again or view or feedback. So that's, that's what it is with the vertical parallax with the assessment. Coming to a few interesting and engaging templates like mountain climb. So these are basically quick, rapidly developed games, uh, interactive games, which you can deploy to your learners. So uh, are you up for some adventure? So you could start climbing the mountain and answer some questions to reach the peak is what you could portray to your learners. And for every correct answer, you tend to move upward the mountain. So let me quickly start. So that, that's what we were speaking about. So as soon as you correct answers, you, you climb up. You, once you get the correct answers, you climb up and there you go. And just in case, if you don't get the correct answer, you stay there. So that's an interesting way of uh, having fun quizzes and engage your online learners. And similarly, we have another game uh, template, uh, again, a quiz template, wherein you could have different questions and the interactivities here is a bowling game. So for example, if you, correct, if you answer this correctly, oh, sorry, I didn't answer that correctly, so I won't get the strike. And just in case if I did, they I get the strike. So this could be a fun, engaging way in which you could present various assessment questions online. And the last but not the least uh, that we have is the cheese quest game here. So if you answer your, uh, if you answer the questions correctly, the mouse will get the cheese or else the mouse won't get the cheese. So let's see how that goes. That's where mouse gets the cheese and let's see. again when the mouse didn't get the cheese for the wrong answer. 
So these are a few templates uh, that I would uh, I wanted to kind of portray uh, that is available in the Raptivity template library. And let me quickly switch back to our presentation here. So yes, we spoke about, so there are three, uh, we've categorized into three basic verticals here. So cool displays is one where we saw panning slides, layer display, horizontal parallax, 360 image, the vertical parallax. Then there were interactive quizzes, if you remember, happy meter was one of them. And then we had the vertical parallax with assessments. And then we had the three fun games, the mountain climb, bowling rush, and the cheese quest. These were the templates. And let me quickly go ahead and try to show you how we could customize these templates and use them for our learners in no time. So there you go. Once you log into Raptivity, you get these templates, which we just saw. And uh, let me quickly start with the horizontal parallax, how we could build something using a horizontal parallax. So these are completely customizable. You can see this is the layout. You just have to feed in content, images, and you're good to go. So for this demo purpose, I have ready content with me available, and you could have that uh, as well. So it could uh, be raw content in this format, like in a PDF or a Word document, or even a PowerPoint presentation. You can kind of start pulling in content from there. So for example, the title here is about me too. So there you go. I put in content here. I can customize my font. So bigger font, maybe make it bold. And just in case if you want to use another font format, you could do that. I'll stick with this one. And again, you can have it in different colors, highlighted. So that, that's where my heading goes. And then let me check the layout. So this is where you can uh, kind of change the layout of this complete slide. You could have different position as per the desktops or tablets, depending on the target devices your learners uh, may be using. You could customize background image. So let me quickly go ahead and do that. Before that, let me go ahead and quickly upload new image here. So you can get into your image library and go ahead and upload the image. So there you go. I have my images here. So maybe I could just select this image, upload it. Oh, I already have it uploaded here. No, it's uploading. There you go. So I can select this image and place it here. And you can put a description of a particular piece of content in this box. So let me quickly go and see what content we have available. There you go. Again, you can customize the type of the font. We'll increase the font size. So this is one example. Again, you can customize the background as well. Uh, if you have a particular branding guideline that you have to follow, you could use that. Let me go ahead and change the other one. So these are a few images that I already have with me. So why not I use something like that? You can again go back to my content. and you could paste this content here. So this is just an example. I won't be taking you through all of it, but this is something, this is how easy it is to build your own templates. So once you're done, you can go ahead and 
preview what you've just developed. There you go. So this is a great example of the parallax and you can just keep on scrolling. So I haven't added content here, but that's how it will look like at the end of it. So that's an example and how easy it is to build uh, content using these Raptivity templates. And let me quickly jump on to another example of how we could build another template using Raptivity. So let me switch back to other interactions. Let's go ahead and see how we could create some assessments or questions in Happy Inter. So again, if you see uh, the user interface is so simple that it is self-explanatory and you don't have to rack your brains much. Uh, you just have to see what content you need to fit in here and you will be good to go. So if you want an introductory slide, you could add that. Just in case you don't, you could not have that. You have various layout options here. So for question one, for example, you need an image, you need text, you need a video, you could upload any of this from here itself. So let me go ahead and take another image which we could upload. So depending on your content, obviously. So uh, there you go. I will upload one image here. I'll see what the content is. So I have a ready content. So the first question says, your child is not interested in brushing. What do you do as a gentle parent? So I'll just copy, paste till the time this uploads. Just take less than half a minute to do that. So something related to brushing, I could have an image. My question here and various options. First, firmly instruct them to brush without any delay. And the third option here as well. Yes, so be good here. And you can select which one, which option you want your learners to select so that it shows that they're happy. So it's a happy meter, remember? So for example, the first one, so you select that. And similarly, you can go on with other such questions as well. And let me quickly preview what we just did. You can again customize the background as per your branding, or maybe if there are any particular images you want to add in or videos, you can also embed audio within, within a particular file. And there you go get the answer and yeah I'll take you through so I'm just uh, going through a few of these options and at the end so at the end you get a happy meter which says whether you know 
you've answered majority of them correctly or no. So it shows you the percentage, the score, time taken, again, the date. And the best part of all uh, Raptivity 2020 templates per se is you could publish them in SCOM or XAPI. So depending on what type of tracking format you want, you can have that, for example, here, happy meter. Publish. There you go. You have the file ready. You could click here to download it, or you could even share through other social medias or even through email. So that's how easy it is to kind of deliver these to your online learners. So with that, uh, I'll quickly again move on to the other fun quiz so there you go if you could see this is downloaded and you could then upload it onto your lms or any other tool that you prefer using similarly let's go ahead and see uh, how we could customize a quick fun game like we just saw so for example let's go ahead with bowling rush So there you go, that's the introductory slide. And uh, these are various questions you can have in the bowling game. So let us check our general knowledge. That's what we're gonna develop. Checking our general knowledge, that's my title. You can again customize this bowling image here. And then let's go and put in our questions. So just for demo purposes, putting in some easy questions. You can have your first option. Eight, and you can select the correct one, correct option. And with that, what feedback do you want to give your learners when they answered it correctly? So for example, Jeffy, you are correct. Or if they answered it incorrectly, sorry, that's not right. Maybe let's take another one. What is the capital? Yeah. So you can put in your answers again. New Delhi is the correct answer. The other option is maybe Sharper or Mumbai. And if you, just in case you don't want the last option, you can delete it and you can select which one is right. So in this case, it is New Delhi. And there you go. You have the bowling game ready. Let us go ahead and preview how that looks like. Just loading. And so this is how you could utilize these templates within no time. There you go. You have the bowling game ready, so you can go ahead and start the game. That's the first question we had. What is two plus two? Let's try and give the correct answer here. Oh, you're right. You get the image at feedback for your learners and then you have to go ahead and click on the bowling ball. There you have it. That's a strike for me. And uh, for example, you don't answer it correctly. So 
let's go ahead and put in Jaipur, which is not the correct answer. Let's see what that does. Oops. There you go, I don't get the strike there. So yes, th this is how it is done and uh, Raptivity plays a very important role while uh, your remote learners are engaged. So let me quickly get back to my presentation. And uh, that was all from my side. I thought this would be a good time to show you uh, how Raptivity could play an important role. And just to know more, please feel free to uh, log into raptivity.com. So we have a free trial uh, at this time. So please feel free to log in to Raptivity. And in case you have any queries, please email us at info at raptivity.com. Thank you so much for your time, everyone. And have a nice day ahead.